Okay, with the uh, the two nuts uh, taken off either end of the main shaft, uh, we're now going to remove the inner uh, gearbox casing. So that is held on by seven, uh, I think they're quarter wit again, we're back to quarter wit, seven nuts, one, two, three, four, five, and then two outside, six, seven. And again, we very much need our special thin Whitworth socket because they're very, very close to the to the casing. And unless you've got a particularly thin thin wall socket, they simply won't go over the nuts. Even even with this thin socket, this bottom one here is really awkward. It does go on, but only just. Right, so I've got the zapper. There we go, turn it down a bit. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven nuts on the bench. So we know they're all off. The kickstart shaft is going to come off with the inner cover, so that should be okay. We can use the kickstart shaft to hang on to to pull the cover off. I'll put some, no, I'll put some tissue down because I know there's still some oil in there. And it's really old. This oil in here is really old. And it stinks to high heaven. I've had various complaints throughout the house about this uh, smell of this oil. I mean, it really does smell this gearbox oil. It's pretty bad. And the thing is with gearboxes, there's always some that stays, stays in. I'm trying to, now that it's broken, I should be able to tap the case slightly. And pull on the kickstart, but it doesn't want to be, it doesn't seem to be want to go. Hmm. So I'll play about with this for a while, trying to encourage it to let go. That's better, that's better. Come on, boy. Come on. Just needs to come off the main shaft there. off the main shaft there no oh, this gearbox looking nice gearboxes tend to you know they they tend to stay looking nice So that's great. Yeah, it's all nice. You know, it's not rusty at all in there. So that's great. Very initial inspection shows there's no rust. And that the teeth, there's certainly the gear teeth I can see all look pretty good. And we didn't lose any oil, <laughs> or at least much oil. So that's good. Yeah, and then we will be removing the kickstart. To again, like the inner, like the outer casing, we'll be removing uh, the parts from this uh, inner casing shortly. 
but again I'll just put it aside for now uh, let's have a look and the kickstart uh, you know it doesn't seem the teeth don't seem to be worn where the kickstart uh, pawl engages I might put a new uh, a new pawn in I'm not sure it looks okay but yeah it might be worth might be worth replacing the port well again we'll be we will be um, uh, assessing this in detail later I'm just putting it aside for now and then we'll start then we'll just remove the remainder of the uh, uh, we'll strip the rest of the gearbox first thing I'll take the uh, this uh, sort of trunnion out so it doesn't get lost now that the uh, the inner covers off and then we'll start um, taking the actual gearbox apart itself. 